Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our Java tutorials. In the previous video, I had explained you about the Java programming language, who created it, how it is better than other languages. And in this video, I'll be explaining you how to download and install the softwares required to write the programs in the Java language. So, we will be requiring two things. First is, as you already know, that's JDK which stands for Java Development Kit and the next thing which we will be requiring is the software named as Eclipse Eclipse makes your life a lot of easier I know you can do your uh, you can just translate your or compile your Java program into a binary code and execute it using the command line but it's easy to use an IDE which uh, makes us stuff a lot easier so our IDE will be Eclipse so now let's go down to our browser and uh, let me go to this web page hit enter right. uh, don't worry this uh, link to the software will be given in the description and uh, just copy and paste it as you can see over here there is a long list of downloads, downloads which you can download but uh, we don't need all of them we just need the first one that's that says java se 7u9 okay and we want the jdk not jre okay be careful download the java se 7u9 jdk hit download and when this page loads up just go down accept their license agreement and um, if you are using linux go for your linux mac Solaris Windows according to your operating system go for that and uh, check if it is 32 bit or 64 bit then uh, according to your pro processor and the operating system go for the JDK version and uh, after you download it you will be getting a file which looks like this ok so you just need to install it it's simple just double click on it it's an exe file and some couple of next 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 and uh, we are good to go with that after this we will be requiring an software that's id uh, for that we will go for eclipse.org and uh, this website will give you the ide or integrated development environment where we will be writing our code so here is again a list of downloads and uh, we can go for first, uh, first or the second one but we will go for the first one and see if it's 32 or 64 bit according to that download your software and when you download it you will be get, uh, getting an uh, zip file like this when you unzip it you will find the files like this and this is our software Eclipse just double click on it and uh, wait till it loads the first time you launch it it will ask you to give your workspace where it will be saving all your work which you will be doing in this uh, in any of your projects so just gi give the path to the files where you want to store so them just hit ok and when your eclipse loads it looks something like this so what we need to do is first will go click on file will select new java project or project it both are same thing but i'll go for java project and in that give your project name let me say test and uh, just go down here at in the down you have finish just hit finish when you hit finish you have this folder this is your root folder where all of your files will be stored just right click to it and uh, say new class ok now we will be adding a class file to it just give a name let me say test underscore class ok now I will just finish it nothing much to do in this and uh, here it uh, loads your class file 
and now here we can write our code whatever you want to write then in that I will say our first program will be public static void main this will be your main function from your program will start executing string args parenthesis okay now open and close parenthesis in that oops, remove this and in that I will say system dot out dot print print ln in that I'll say oops hello world which is the first program I like to write in any programming language which I do and uh, when you are done with this go over here just hit run run and when it asks you just say ok and uh, you see here down you can see your output hello world no errors nothing fine so you don't need to worry about all this programming on this video I'll be explaining you all this in the upcoming videos one by one but for now you just see how the program works so this was the uh, basic program to print a line to the desktop and uh, that's it for this video and uh, hope you like the video and thanks for watching it